Okay, so vectors and Krita. I am currently using Krita 5.2.0. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and create a uh, vector layer. So this is my layer panel down here on the right. I'm going to click on the little arrow that's right next to that plus sign to bring up this menu and I'm going to select add vector layer. That gives me a vector layer to work with. And if I go up to my tool panel up here on the upper left, I'm going to select one of these shapes and I'm going to select rectangle uh, for this example. And using my left mouse button, I'm going to click and drag to create a rectangle. And you'll notice that I have red in the center with a black outline. That's because if you look at the tool options, I have the fill set for foreground color and the outline set to brush background color, okay? Which means it's going to create a line based on the brush I'm currently set at. So you can see the brush I have right now is set to a five pixel size. That gave me a five pixel outline of black because black is my background color selected. How did I get a black background color selected? Well, if I go over to my color palette over here and right click, I can select what my background color is. And if I left click, I can select what my foreground color is. You can see those colors have changed now over here. So now if I create a rectangle, I have a red outline with a white center. So let's say I made the mistake and I didn't want this particular rectangle to be white and red with a five pixel outline. I wanted it something different. What I can do is go up to my tool panel again and select the Select Shapes tool. That's this white cursor right here in the upper left. Use that to select the object, which is the white rectangle with the red outline. And then go to my tool options. Now on the tool options, you want to make sure you select the line. Okay, so it'll, by default, it'll be on this far left side, which is the, the uh, geometry options. You want to select the stroke options right here. And I can change this now to be non-existent. Okay, so I clear that out. I can select the solid color fill, which gives me my solid red outline, or gradient fill, which you can see gives it a gradation, and that gradient is dependent on the different presets that you have available. Uh, in this case, we're just going to keep it to solid. And you want to change the color here, so you can change it right here by selecting one of the swatches or by going down to this uh, color swatch panel down here, which you can edit to your liking. Or, again, you can just, with it selected again, right-click and drag in this sample panel up to the top right to change it. But if we want to change the width of the line, you can't just do that here. You have to do it via the thickness on this tool options panel. So you just click here. You can see I'm lowering it down to one pixel and now it's a one pixel line around this and it's colored black because that's what I selected. And if I want to change the fill color, I can either left click on this upper right tool panel or I can go to the uh, fill tab here and that, you can see it has a little paint bucket in it and select the color from here.